the answer for this question is 38.7. See, guys, I will be posting a question daily in my Instagram and Facebook. For those questions, I will be answering in, in my YouTube channel. So you can follow me in Instagram for those questions and you can try them. And you can verify your answer with my solutions in my YouTube channel. So uh, today's question is this. And the answer for this question is 38.7. Let's see how we see 38.7. We are given with one-fifth of the journey with 30 km per hour and one-fourth with 25 km per hour and the rest 60 km per hour. See. One-fifth, 30, one-fourth, 25. And the rest, we don't know how much is it. Let us find. That is nothing but 1 minus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 4. 1 minus 9 by 20, which is 11 by 20. The rest is 11 by 20. It is of 60 km per hour. Okay? Now, what we were asked? We were asked to find out the average speed. What is the formula for average speed? Average speed is equal to total distance by total time. Okay. So let our total distance be uh, some A or D. Let uh, distance is equal to D. Okay. Now, come to the first case. One fifth of the journey, which means one fifth of the distance, it covered 30 km per hour. It covered one fifth of the distance in 30 km per hour. But we don't know how much time uh, was it taken. So let the time be T1. So in first case, it covered one fifth of the distance in time T1 with the speed 30 km per hour, which means T1 is equal to D by 150. In the same way, second case, one fourth of the distance, one fourth of the distance in T2 time with speed 25. So T2 is equal to D by 100. Okay. And next, 11 by 20th of the distance. So 11D by 20 in T3 time, it covered that is uh, which speed 60 km per hour. So from this, T3 is equal to 11D by 100. Okay, now we have our distance and we have our uh, times T1, T2, and T3. So now let us find average speed. Average speed is equal to total distance D by T1 plus T2 plus T3. So D by T1 is D by 150. T2 is D by 100. T3 is D by 100. So if you uh, can cancel D. Okay, so and the remaining is we uh, got cancelled, right? One by what is the same for for 150, 100, and 100? Is 100, right? So 158 and 112, and here it is 11, D, right? Okay, so here it is 11. So that is nothing but 100 by 12 plus 8, 20 plus 1, 31. 1200 by 31. So 
first one twenty. Thirty one three is uh, ninety three. Thirty one four is one twenty four. So we'll go for thirty one three. Thirty one three is ninety three. So when what ninety three got subtracted from one twenty, the uh, difference is twenty seven, and we are having this zero. Then it is two seventy. So two seventy, but thirty nine thirty one nine is two seventy nine. So we'll take thirty one eight. Two forty eight. So two seventy minus two forty eight. The difference is twenty two. Since twenty two is less than thirty one, we we'll place decimal point, and that becomes two twenty. The nearest product of thirty uh, one at the number uh, which gives uh, or which is nearer to two twenty is thirty uh, one eight. See, already we know that is two forty eight. So thirty one seven is two one seven. So thirty one seven two one seven. So that uses us the difference three, and that goes on. So we already obtained our answer here. That is thirty eight point seven. If they are given or they are they mentioned to find out the answer up to two decimal points, then we can do further division. So if you find this video helpful, do subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.